consider myself to be a non-violinist. <laughs> Very good. I like that. I might steal that one. Yeah. Right, so some of the things that you might want to consider. Um, you may need help from alcohol. If you have strong urges, irresistible urges, to pick up a glass of alcohol. You're quite right, drink is irrelevant. If you're sacrificing your life, your friends, your family, your work, putting them in a lower position of priority underneath alcohol. Uh, yes, Craig, I still had um, cravings just this morning. I had a couple of cravings this morning and um, I did consider actually going to the shop and picking up a bottle of beer, a single bottle of low alcohol beer. Um, but I resisted and I've got soda water and a little bit of what was left in a J2O bottle from yesterday. So, if you're getting the strong urges and um, the irresistible urges, and you look, at, can, you think you can only really satisfy them by picking up a glass of alcohol, then you certainly may need some help. Sacrificing life, family, friends, and work, if you're putting them as a higher priority, sorry, a lower priority than alcohol, you certainly may need help. Secret drinking, that was me. Now, Rebecca, I've just said I'm about I'm alone about 50 percent of the time as kids are with their dad every other week. So I drink more that week. Um, yeah. I mean, what, am I doing? what units are, are you drinking, Rebecca? Because you and I get on very well now and I know you'll have no problem. You'll tell me if you've got a problem, I'm sure. But how much do you drink if you want to let me know? Secret drinking is the most obvious, I think of all signs that you may need help. Hiding alcohol was also me. So if you're anything, anything at all like me, you know, so far, all those things fit me, but the secret drinking and the hiding of alcohol were certainly two things. Would you ever put alcohol in a ginger bottle? Uh, I used to put alcohol secretly in all sorts of other drinks and do it that way i used to go running with a bottle of water with alcohol in with vodka in wow really that's 10 times what you should be drinking bex 10 times um i think that you're young enough now to nip this in the bud and you know take some responsibility for you certainly will have some big um problems in the future, if you keep drinking that amount. Oh, that, that's really shocked me because I didn't get the impression that you were that sort of consumer of, because that's a lot. But I know exactly where you're coming from because I was double your lower end of that calculation or estimate. So hiding alcohol. Um, and lastly, people making comments. You know, people pointing out to you that maybe you're drinking a little bit too much. So if you've got that going on in your life too. Uh, what's that in my hand? It's a Apple Pencil. So I can just scroll with um, the questions and the comments as they're coming in. Um, so there's five things there, which I thought of this morning, which would indicate to me that you may need help. And the more of them you can tick off and say, yes, that's me. Yes, that's me. And would you do me a favour? Would you just have a look at that list of five top things that I could think of this morning? And it's not an exhaustive list. There are others that I could probably add to that quite easily. You're making that a list much longer than that. But taking those top five, which I think um, may indicate you need help. And tell me, would you, can you just put one out of five or two out of five? Or five out of five. 
you can't really see it. Um, okay. Okay, so have you got that? Do, it, do those apply to you, any of them? I'd like to know how many out of the five apply to you. One stroke five, one out of five. Five stroke five, five out of five. Wow, okay. Your father will not eat, just have a beer and drink sugar water for this for his type one diabetes. Oh thank you for the rose. Thank you very much. Nicole, I think you've got the hang of that yeah you did, yeah. You you did. I can see your message now. I'm glad I found you. Currently trying really hard to stop drinking. Five out of five. Oh dear. So there's the list. For those of you who just may now have come in, you may need help with alcohol if you've got one of those issues here. And if you've got a five out of five, I would say you've certainly got a huge issue. But I think even with one, you've got an issue of some description. And Rebecca, my moderator, yeah, four out of five. And um, Nicole says three. You've done amazing giving up drink after so long. I didn't have any choice, really. I just had to do a lot of preparation this time. Put it been four, four out of five. No comments from people because I'm really good at hiding it. Also, we're in lockdown. We're not actually in lockdown anymore. Not if you're in the UK anyway. I'm not sure where you're from. And of course, Rebecca is now having a conversation as well with Nicole. Makes it so much easier to drink when there's no one there telling you not to. Yeah, but you are. You tell yourself. I know you do. I know you tell yourself because I've been there. So you can't fool. You can't kill an alcoholic. I know all the little tricks. So you're in denial, not just you Bex, but anybody really on that list. Good to see you being strong another day, I hope other people help you. People are doing their best to help me and I really, really do appreciate this. And that reflects in the daily numbers of supporters who decide to follow me and my TikToks to get a daily update. And now I'm really, really lucky that people are deciding to come in to the lives as well they're joining for the lives which is excellent because i do save a copy after their uh, lives are finished because tiktok doesn't save a copy a public copy of my lives so i save a copy and i put it on my youtube channel in a private playlist where you can go and watch it just see the link in the bio and you'll go straight to the playlist and you can see the titles of some of the lives that we've been and discussed i'm drinking now but been out of loop for a while four days into the freedom oh that's really good news um 16 new messages i'm having a job keeping up five out of five for me before i get sober oh that's good do you think that's something you really want to do do you really want to get sober Five out of five for ten years. Wow. At least you're talking about it. You know, even if you don't talk to anybody else. You know, you know you've got friends here who are not going to go behind your back and betray you, which is really good. Apart from that, I'm not sure they'd know how. Have you had any non-alcoholic drinks since? Um, you mean alcohol-free? Like alcohol-free gin or beer or things. Is that what you mean? Yeah, um, I have. I drink 120 to 150 units per week for six and a half years before I stopped and I worked on that all the time too. I am in denial. Corvette. 
Oh, are you in the US? You got some lovely cars in the US. I used to hire a Corvette when I was in the US in Florida. I tell myself every day not to, but the urge takes over. So very honest of you, Rebecca. Have you ever been this honest and open about this before on, well, any social media? Or is this the first time? And do you feel comfortable talking about it in this closed privacy of uh, TikTok Live? Now, that question applies to everybody, really. Did you ever drink at work? No, because I was always self-employed. Been self-employed in my life. You just don't feel ready to stop at the moment. Again, says Rebecca, you don't need to hide alcohol as I live alone. So really, that's the one of five out of your... Right, so the rest of those are no hiding alcohol. Yeah, so maybe you need help if you've got one of those. If you've got two or more, I certainly think you need to re-examine the reasons why you drink. Is it habitual or is it a dependence so you can function? Or is it alcoholism full-blown? Whichever, um, I would suggest that if you're any more than two over there, you need to reassess as to where you are um, and what you need to do. Um, let me just have another look through here to see what's going on. Uh, I honestly feel that you will be the reason I do eventually stop, Stephen. That's so kind of you. Um... Right. Becky says, I'm an al alcoholic. It's so hard to stay sober. Yeah, I know. I tell myself every day, but the urge takes over. I've already read that from Becca. I agree with Yorkshire Bex, says Nicole. Hello from Malaysia. Hello from Yorkshire in England. And uh, Retting is a five out of five of these for 10 years. I'm in Melbourne, Australia. New lockdown. Oh, really? That's a bummer. We've only just come out of um, a lockdown here, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And um, we've got a review on the 14th of June about if we fully open one week later on the 21st of June. I really couldn't put it one way or another. I've been out four days and I've got a drink in my hand. Well, at least you're talking about it. Now, that's one of the things we have to agree on. You're talking about it. Do you go live on your iPad? Yes, this is my iPad. And that's my phone. It's easier because I can read the writing better. I still can't read these blooming names. I don't understand why TikTok makes them pale grey. Because I can't read them. I tell you, this app, TikTok, is meant for the young people. You know, old people can't read this stuff. Even with glasses on, they can't read after names. That's why I missed um, Sarah yesterday, my other moderator. And I felt so guilty I didn't acknowledge some of the things she posted. Do you have cycles trying to quit, stopping for a bit and starting again full force? Yes, I bloody do. Um, over the last 30 years, I've tried so many times. Um, but I was better prepared this time. A better reason and a better support system in place. So it's not by accident I am where I am now. It was planned. Um, so people say to me, I'm so strong and... I'm dealing it very well. You know, I do have the craving still. I had terrible withdrawals at the beginning as well. Because I'm only 42 days in. The first 10 days were terrible. Day 8 was the worst. And I always say, go and look at my day 8 video. I'm in the car. I had to go to bed. I just could not deal with the anxiety. The, the wrenching gut of withdrawal. And... Um, so it's not that I'm doing really, really well now. It's not down to me. It's down to you and the support system I've got behind me. Do you agree sun and beer mix? Too right they do. That's one of my triggers. It's all back to front, you plonker. Oh, so it is. 
There we go. <laughs> Do that. I I wrote it. I wrote it that way and that way. You see? So that I could stick it up there backwards and then you could read it because everything's reversed. So really if if you feel that you need just to go a little bit further into getting some help this is not a method for the faint-hearted and it's expensive even if you do it online rather than in person you can go to helpmestop.org.uk but it is uh, an, a, a, a rehab rehabil re rehabilitation so rehab and it's a UK based rehab so they've got a lot of information on there, but it's not the easiest option because it's limiting depending on, of course, how much you can afford to do it. So it's going to be a disadvantage to some people who are less well off financially. But the facility is there all the same. You haven't drunk in six months. That was so good. That's very good. No, it was better the other way, says Bell. <laughs> okay. I'm not drunk, I promise you. I'm not, not drunk. Um, when I run out, I turn to hand sanitizer. Now, I'm quite sure you don't do that. Please show it again, Stephen. I think you've seen it now, but let me just um, do it. Okay. So these are the issues we're talking today about. You may need help if, and we've discussed these as well. So one out of five, you certainly need to think, why are you give, Why are you becoming weak? Why is alcohol finding your weakness and you're allowing it to do so rather than showing you it your strength, choosing to show alcohol your strength? It's searching for your weakness. And these are some of the things that can be exposed, which may help you decide you've got an issue with alcohol. Any of these. Some people have got five out of five and they've admitted this on the live. Some have got four, three. But if you really have an issue, you can try Help Me Stop at helpmestop.org.uk. As I said, it is limiting financially because not everybody else can afford to do that i didn't do it that way this is the way i'm doing it. that's the only way i've never tried to do it going to a rehab oh yorkshire beck thank you for the gifts so sweet of you when we do um meet up rebecca We'll, we'll mutually agree in a day of the time, maybe one of the odd, the other weeks where you haven't got your children or something, so you're not tied down, then we can um, meet up or come to Bradford or something where you are. And maybe we can have a lunch somewhere and have a chat. That would be really good to um, meet some people. Good weather for a cold beer. Yes, it is. Is that what you're going to do? By the way, I don't mind people saying, making comments like that. It doesn't, I don't have an issue with comments like that. So, you know, if that's what you want to do then. But if it's jesting that I should go and do one, then obviously I'm not going to do that. Can you be my granddad, please? Sure. Yeah, I can be your granddad. Melanie, I had a few of those, but I helped myself and feel extremely better. Hi, by the way. Hi. How is best to tell someone that they have a problem and urgently need help? Um, <coughs> what relationship do you have with these people? If you're a child of an alcoholic, 
I'll just get ask um, Rebecca just to put the domain up. It's .org.uk. She'll put that up for you. So you can just make a note of that. So if you are, um, any of you are a child of an alcoholic, that link I certainly would be the first place I'd recommend you to go. It will certainly help you in addressing that. There we go, that she's put nocoa.org.uk. Um, okay, Rebecca, we can do that sometime ahead. You've got my details now, how to reach me. Um, thank you for doing this, I asked my dad back in 2012 after he lost his battle. Um, I would imagine now in, in nine years, you're, you're probably well adjusted to that loss now. But if you're not, again, that um, address that Rebecca's put on the screen for you might just help. And it's donkey time. <laughs> I love it. Some of the names on there are brilliant. I went to rehab 2000, 2017, had uh, almost five years sober. Then February 2001, you had a relapse. 2021, sorry. Had a relapse. You see, the, it never leaves you. Um, and an, if you're an alcoholic, you will always be an alcoholic. You can't be an ex-alcoholic. You can be an alcoholic that doesn't drink anymore, but you can never be an ex-alcoholic. It's something which stays with you for life. And... Um, I don't think anyone but an, an alcoholic would fully appreciate that. And even then, some alcoholics don't really understand that. They think that, no, they've not had a, a drink for a while. I can just have one. But, you know, alcohol is always trying to test your weakness. That's the problem. It's always testing you. I've been doing well, but I have those urges. And my mind tells me it's okay, but I know it's not. Yes. Um, how do you grieve all the life and things you've lost to alcohol? Um, I'm very, very lucky because, um, Belle, I've never really lost anything to alcohol apart from a lot of money. Respect. Um, confidence. So I've never lost relationships because I've been a a totally functioning alcoholic and um, it's just a loss of money and respect and confidence I think that's the things that I lost to alcohol you're rooting for me I'm an inspiration you yeah, thank you so much you've got this yes I know I've got this uh, it's not that AA doesn't work for me AA I've tried and it didn't work for me um, nice bank holiday, yeah, I'm talking to you. Of course it's a nice bank holiday. And I spoke to you yesterday morning and I saw my 87, nearly, she says, nearly 87-year-old mother yesterday for the afternoon. Couldn't get rid of her. Uh, have you heard of people using buffo, bufo, B-U-F-O, avarice to treat alcoholism? Um, it's a frog poison. Really? That's odd. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Um, Craig says, good because all my exes seem to leave me quite easily. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, I don't want to grab a beer, Max. That sort of comment isn't really helpful to the people, to me or to the people in here who have um, an alcohol issue. So unless you're part of the community and you want to join in the community with some sensible conversation, I suggest maybe you don't make a post at all. It's a donkey time. Thank you for raising awareness. Um, who's this me, G, M, N, G? Hi Stephen, how's your day going? It's going awesome. Who's Bex talking to? Something about gambling. 
uh, film somewhere where I don't have the ability to... Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Do you still work at Asda? Well, I've never worked at Asda. Oh, here's a good one. What was your choice of drink when you drank? Anything. Absolutely anything. And if I was um, really desperate, I literally would drink anything with alcohol in. There are no exceptions. Um, but given a choice, I would like a really quality wine. Um, but top of the list would probably be a pint of Guinness. And I'm still, still searching for the draft Guinness, which is alcohol free. But I think it's been recalled um, in February due to a bacterial problem. Um, but I thought it was back on the market at the end of March or something like that, but I still can't find it. Have a cold Coke. Um, yeah, I, um, I don't mind Coke. It's got DMT in it. That's what is sleep nearly died naturally occurring in the brain. Right, okay. Smart is good for strategies, delayed distance and cause benefit for work. Enjoying the bank holiday, oh yeah. How much were you drinking daily? I can't really, um, I can't really tell you. Um, I can tell you that it was up to 200 units a week. And if I had a bad week for some reason, usually during the darker day, darker days, not summer like now, that really lifts my spirits, but in darker days, it would probably be up to 300 units in a week. So it's exactly a double of what my moderator, Rebecca, was drinking. She said between 100 and 150. Mine was between 200 and 300. So I was double her. And she's got 10 times the recommended um, white cider um, I never really drank white cider my favorite cider was strongbow the berries one thank you Bex do I like Britney Spears sure um, she's a human being got nothing against her whatsoever I found the alcohol free Guinness on Amazon for the pub I worked in. Oh, have you have you tried? I don't know anybody who's tried it. Have you actually tried the alcohol free Guinness? Is it still smooth and creamy and tastes like Guinness? Does anybody know? How was your longest what was your longest session? My longest session with alcohol was all was thirty days, uh, but I hated every minute of it. And I was so glad that I drank again, so I could feel normal again. Do you find that non-alcoholic drinks make you crave alcohol more? Or are they helpful? Neither really. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't, I've tried a lot of alcoholic drinks, but purely from the perspective of taste, not alcohol. And let me explain. My wife doesn't drink much. And what little she does drink is a, same, a shame that she wants to deprive herself of that little bit of pleasure. Two glasses a, a week just to support me. So I thought if we can find something which she likes, because she says she likes the taste of, for example, gin, Gordon's gin, well any gin, but she doesn't like the effect. She doesn't like the effect of alcohol. Now we do. Alcoholics love the effect of alcohol. That's mainly why we do it. We don't care what we drink because if our favourite drink is not available, we'll drink anything to get the alcohol. It might taste like shit, but, it's, but you know, it's alcohol. Well, she's the exact opposite. Um, so we tried to find something which she would like the taste of. With, with regard to alcohol, it didn't matter. And so far, we've not really found anything which is a good substitute for her taste for taste um so we've really not really found alcohol non-alcoholic drinks very helpful at all i could drink them don't bother me um i don't use them um i don't use them as a substitute for alcohol
Frank Sinatra, do I like him? Why why am I getting asked if I like certain musicians and singers and stuff? It's Are you gonna judge me on my answer? Is that why you're asking me? Congratulations, mate. Do you want to try in moderation ever again? No, I can't do it. Sorry, I, I really cannot do it. I've tried. I'm an all or nothing. And it has to be nothing. And as Rebecca said, you know, if, if you can drink in moderation, then you're not an alcoholic. Um, do I like Smirnoff? Is it got alcohol in? Silly question. I look more like an Elvis Presley fan. What is this with singers? Why are you so persistent about famous singers? Favourite books? I don't read books. Um, I've got a, a really rude joke about Playboy magazines, but I'm not sure I, no, I'm not sure I dare tell it on here. It's, I'm a re I think it really would offend some people, so I'm not even going to tell that joke. I'm also all or nothing and about to start my own sober journey. Good, we will help you. This is the place to come. Um, I keep repeating it, but it's important that you know. My TikToks are for me to tell you about my daily progress, the way I feel, um, and anything else that I want to communicate to you in a short TikTok. The lives are for you guys. You can learn from things that people are posting, the questions and the answers that are being given on the lives. It's just meant to be a support for you. So if you find you're getting any value at all from the lives and you're not yet a follower, I think that's a good enough reason for you to do so. So you can be notified when I go live. Now I've been told you need to click the bell beside my name when you follow me and then you'll be notified when I go live. You wanna hear it? Rebecca, I'll tell you when I, maybe I shouldn't, I think you might lower your opinion of me. Um, I'll tell you when I see you. Do you have one last massive binge drink before going sober? Actually, I didn't. No. I thought about it, but it was no point. Hey, my Winston. Hey, my man, I've been busy. Good to see you online. Thank you, sir, for coming on and supporting the cause. Um, Nikki followed the host. Alcoholism is not measured by the amount of drink, but the need for it. Thank you, Winston. Rebecca, are you noticing something about Winston that I've just noticed? Um, I mean, did you have one massive drinking day before going sober? No, I didn't. Just a normal day. <laughs> I could never lower my opinion of you, she says. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Go on, mate. But Got to go, mate. Oh, thank you. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, Jonathan. Have a good day. I'll see you next time round. If a guy works all day and comes home to a brandy every day and, and you're cut off, um, what made me stop drinking? That's a good question, Craig. Obviously, you've um, not heard my explaining that before. <coughs> I'll tell you in a second. You should be in the papers. You're amazing. I've already been in this last 42 days. There's been um, the Metro and Lad Bible that have featured me. And another journalist in Manchester and myself are currently talking at the moment. Um, about some media and as you know we're talking I need to agree with what they're going to say so journalists usually like to write a story which is not always based in accurate and, and truth accuracy and truth so I want to make sure I'm working with her 
rather than just writing what she feels she can get away with. Um, what made me stop drinking? Let's come back to that. Well, I've been trying to stop drinking for 30 years. So had I stopped drinking 30 years, the difference then would have been different to how it is now. Um, and because I can do... My, my philosophy has always been deal with it. Whatever comes along, deal with it. My wife says the car has got a flat tyre. Okay. Deal with it. Um, someone's just hit the back of the car and broken the light. Fine, I'll deal with it. I don't panic or get overworked up about anything. I just deal with it. So... When I tried to stop drinking 30 years ago, it was just something that I was going to have to do, just to deal with it. My reasons to stop drinking were obviously not as compelling as they are now. Because my reason to stop drinking now is more compelling than it is to keep drinking. And that is, one, I've had recent liver blood tests that show some abnormalities in my liver, but they are repairable they'll go back to normal and i'll have a normal life with a functioning liver um but i need to stop drinking and that's the first time in 50 years of drinking that i've had an abnormal liver blood test but that's not enough to stop me drinking what was enough to stop me drinking was my eight-year-old granddaughter she's now becoming more aware of who i am in her life and my role in her life and i find it absolutely lovely now she's giving me some really nice attention and I'm her only grand granddad. Um, she's lost her other one, so I'm her only grandfather. Two grandmothers and one grandfather. So I've got an even more important role in her life as you know the father figure, grandfather figure. And I want to see her grow up into a young woman and have some responsibility for helping her develop into a really nice young woman. Help her or see her grow into... A relationship with someone and their heart breaks you know and dealing with these issues deal with it and um, helping her become the woman she's going to be I want to be involved with her more now I don't want to be drunk hungover or just can't be bothered so that's the reason now and those reasons are more compelling than it is to keep drinking that's why I'm finding it a bit easier but it's only a bit easier and it's a bit easier because I've got a great support system. I chose TikTok and the live streams in particular as my support system. So I'm not acquiring, if you like, a lot of followers because of my TikToks, because my brilliance in creating TikToks. I, I'm not brilliant at creating TikToks. I think I'm quite creative and I've learned a lot from my seven years as a YouTuber. But they're not brilliant, they're no better than anybody else. But why have I got 44,000 people um, following my, my daily TikToks and wishing me all the best? And they actually want to know what I'm doing next day. Have I, have I got another day? It's not really those, it's because of my lives. It's the community coming together. And I can only make this work because of you as a community. Having the faith in me. And I find myself becoming accountable. Not only to me, but to you. And that isn't really how it was meant to work, but that's the way it's developed. And I'm certainly very lucky it's developed that way. Yeah, I think I said it was not the amount that was the need for it. Yeah, that's right. Um, you probably get asked this all the time, but are you craving this morning or are you okay? Uh, no, I'm okay, but I've had cravings this morning. I nearly went, no, I didn't nearly go, that's not true. I considered going to get a bottle of beer down the local shop. <coughs> it's only five minutes walk, which is a bloody inconvenience. It doesn't help. Winston says he had to stop before, because it's taking his toll on his daily life. Uh, oh, Rebecca. Um, can you check something for me, please? What powers do you have as a um, as a moderator? I don't know what powers you have, apart from muting. Can you tell me what you have? 
Thank you. You're so inspiring. Well done, you. The, uh, try the website to see if it helps. Wishing you all the luck. That's a message from Rebecca to Emily. So we started off with that as the main discussion, the topic of discussion for today. It may help you if you have strong urges. Irresistible urges to pick up a drink. Sacrificing life, friends, work, family in order to get a drink. Secret drinking. That's the only one that Rebecca admits to that she hasn't got a problem with. Hiding alcohol. No, sorry. Al hiding alcohol was the one she says. Um, and other people commenting or noticing that maybe you're just drinking too much. Well, I now know she's drinking too much. But I've never met her. Because she's been honest enough to tell us how much she drinks in here. But she doesn't yet think she's got a problem. So, if you think that you have got at least one of those, and the more, the worrying. And then maybe you should go to Help Me Stop at helpmestop.org.uk and just have a read. Um, some of their remedies includes rehabilitation and rehab comes at a great expense. It's between £1,600 and £3,000 with those um, for a few days and that really is quite prohibitive for most people. Um, but you know, if you consider how much you drink and what it costs you in a year, you'll find that's probably a good investment as long as you've got the money to start with up front. Um, just reading here some conversations going on between other people. Do I still have alcohol in the house? Um, yes, the, the only thing we've got is bottles of Prosecco. Probably about 30 of them. No, I'm not going to open them. I keep those here so that if Julie does want to go back, because she's supporting me, she only has two glasses of Prosecco a week. And I used to have four glasses. Because you can't drink half a bottle, three, three, because she'd just fall asleep. So she'd have two glasses, I'd have four. But I've given up the Prosecco, given up everything. And now she doesn't think it's worthwhile opening a bottle just for two glasses of Prosecco. But my mother, who's nearly 87, comes every Sunday for lunch. And sometimes um, she just feels like a little bit of um, a fizz. So we'll open it for her. Julie will have a glass or two with her. And my mother will finish off the rest of the bottle. And at 87 years old, why not? I say, why not? At 87, if you can't enjoy yourself at 87, and she's not an alcoholic. She drinks a bottle of gin, one a month, one bottle of gin a month. So she's not got a problem. A bottle of gin used to last me a day. And then I'd get some more. Is there any way I could encourage an alcoholic in my life to give up? That's Emily. Um, is this um, a parent, Emily? A partner? Whilst um, Rebecca has posted just above your comment, the N-O-C-O-A or dot org dot UK as the um, the URL I would recommend you go and have a look if you're the child of an alcoholic you might find some information on there which will be helpful to you to help somebody who you want to help if, even if they're not a parent so have a look at that and just see if you get any tips from there because don't forget, I'm not an expert in helping people quit because I've not yet quit myself except for 42 days now, which is my longest ever. But I am an expert failure. But I would say 
that first of all they need to be fully understanding that they have a problem and admit they've got a problem if they're in denial nothing you can do some people can't be helped ever and they might be lucky enough not to die through it but it will cause other problems um it will certainly shorten your um your longevity in this world and once they're then uh, admitting that they've um got a problem they then to have to say i need some help and actually want to be helped and then you're in a position to do something for them until then they can make it very awkward for you and um you can even fall out so be careful what you do but take a look at that organization on the url that rebecca um that Yorkshire bex posted just a little way up the page in the questions and answers oh i am friends with a celebrity are you who's that you never told me that oh you do know you have a problem okay sorry i um i didn't think really you had much of a problem just I've got a low battery this morning come up 10%. I'm going to have to do something about that soon. Yeah, Yorkshire Beck's the first step in recovery, he says, is to admit of an issue. To be honest, I think the family member I'm talking about has all of them. But she's not self-aware at all. She will be. If she's got all of those, she definitely will be. Um, hi, sir. Can I ask you set up a laptop for my son? Online class. <laughs> yeah, divine. Um, an online class for your son. How old is your son? I mean, can't you get him to come into this conversation? It's not just for adults, you know. So proud of you for providing help and resources. You're doing really amazing here. Loads of respect. Oh, thank you so much, Melody. Can I handstand? Um, not when I'm drunk and not when I'm sober. Some good, some good posts here. Um, Beth says, congratulations on being sober. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for that. I'm rather proud of myself, actually. And this morning, uh, my wife put her arms around me and says, I'm really proud of you. And then she says, you're not cheating, are you? <laughs> I said, of course not. Of course not. But that was such a nice thing to hear your partner say. I don't know about my liver dancing, but my mind is incontinent. All right, okay. Aha, you're a celebrity, Steve. Oh, I'm the celebrity. All right, okay. Actually, there's a lot you don't know about me, Rebecca. I've been on television a lot since 1985. I had the um, Actors' Equity Union card since 1985. I think my first TV job was with... you. I think you're probably too young. Um, was with Ian McShane, Dudley Sutton, um, several others I can't remember the name of, working in Lovejoy. That was my first ever TV things, Lovejoy. Um... Then I've done Thatcher's Final Days. I worked with Miriam Margulies. Thatcher's Final Days. Coronation Street, Emma Dale. John Sims in in um, Life on Mars. In Loving Memory, the Christopher Beanie, and Thora Heard. Oh, I can't remember. So many. Well, I've not worked in TV for nine years now. Uh, congratulations on your progress. You're right that folks won't change unless they want to. No, there's nothing you can do to force them. Contentment, you've got full control of your bowels. 
incontinence. Um, does that include bowels, incontinence? I'm glad you're all proud of yourself. Yeah, thank you for being proud of me because I am Laura. Um, got any tips quitting alcohol? I'm drinking five beers every night on quitting work. Cheers from Sweden. It's so lovely to hear everybody at least talk about their problems. Um, the only thing I can say is I can't keep going back over things, especially as I'm running out of time and battery on my iPad. But I do um, download all my live streams because TikTok doesn't save them in the public um, domain. But I, I download all my live streams and I put them in a private playlist where you can go and watch them again where I answer loads and loads of questions and every live stream will have a title in this particular case you may need help if so you might not realize you're an alcoholic but you may need help if and that will be the title of today's video live stream which we put on my youtube channel within an hour or two of finishing this live in fact i might ask if my um mods are prepared just to grab that link so at any time during um a live stream if anybody asks they can just quickly post it and you can go and have a look but i'm not sure if links are actually clickable i don't think the links are clickable are they in this conversations The biggest change for you was who I hung with. Yes. But I had to let some go for my own recovery. Yes. Agree with you there, mate. Um, Winston, can I ask you a question, please, now, which I need a quick answer to, because I've got to wrap this up fairly soon. Um, no, I don't think you do, Rebecca. Winston, would you mind i'm inviting you to consider a uh, like you if you if you can make up your mind now that'd be great if not let me know if you want to think about it would you consider becoming um, a moderator for my lives and helping rebecca and um, sarah i don't think sarah's in today at the moment i'm sure i've not seen her but if you would like to be the biggest change for me yep got that happy you're here let's do it together this is the key um, this is what my lives are all about. And I'm looking forward to these lives more and more. The shortest ones are half an hour, but they seem to go by really quickly. This one's an hour. Um, but sometimes they go for two hours. My longest ever is actually not on TikTok. It's on YouTube for seven hours and one minute. Um, I might try and do that one day. You know, do a record live. Oh, you haven't seen it today either. Okay, maybe she's either upset with me or just not available. But I did contact her and apologise for ignoring her the other time she's on my live, so I didn't notice her. And as she said, it was because I answered some of the questions that she answered thinking it was you. So I think it was the moderator tag that I saw and not the actual name. So I hope I didn't upset her. Um, do you do online meetings? I think I've seen you before. You've probably seen me before on YouTube or on your little box in the corner of the room. Oh, that's okay, Winston. If you either you don't want to do it or you can do it when you're available. You don't have to do it because of with you there'll be four and I've got up to 10, but I'm very I'm very picky. If, I, if I've asked you before, which I forgot, then that means at least I'm consistent. So if you do, that's great. If you don't, that's also great. Yeah, thank you, Rebecca. I like your garden, looks nice. Oh, okay, let's, let's have a quick look. It's only little. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do then is um, I'm going to download this anytime now and then stick it up on my YouTube. 
and just in case you want to go back okay yeah we'll just have you here as a as a guest when you want to come in then winston that's okay um you're an inspiration love heart thank you very much i do appreciate all your kindness i really do i'll put this one as soon as i possibly can hopefully within the next two hours or less on my live streams list um with a title that will be the title discussing that and that link will be in there as well in case you want to refer to that for rehab and um hi for coming in sorry we're just going out but thanks for coming in anyway um yeah it's a considered link in my bio to where i store not all but the most relevant conversations i think might help you with conversations and links. The only thing you won't be able to see there, of course, is the conversations that are coming up from people typing. All you can see is my response to them and reading them out. But um, I'm also thinking that in the future, I might want to have my phone in landscape mode, just standing beside the iPad in that mode. So I can actually record a landscape version of the live streams. And then I can stick that onto my YouTube to make it easier to watch. So um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, no offence, my good man, says Winston. Yep, that's not a problem at all. But um, you know you're always welcome when I've, if I've got a space, if you ever change your mind. So I'll see you later. Thank you for joining me. And thank you all for your support. And um, if you've not yet followed, that's the only way you're going to be able to join in a live unless you stumble across me. Because if you actually follow me, and click the bell, you'll be able to get notification. So enjoy the rest of your bank holiday too, Laura, and I'll see you all later. Have a good time.